Reviews. I'm the Mingo. Special K. And tonight we're doing a Smirnoff product. It's Smirnoff Ice Red, White, and Mary. Uh, it's their Christmas punch. Uh, first thing we notice is the bottles are unevenly filled. Like, look at this. Look here, you can see this one. Like, what is this? It's quality control right there. But they're all they're all different levels though. Like you can see, that's weird. This is a pretty new product. It comes in 11.2 ounce ripoff bottles too. And it's 4.5 percent. Where like most of the Smirnoff Ice are like what five? Yeah, most of them are five percent. Are we opening both of these? Is that yeah. Is that what's going on? Yeah. Well, it's a twist off, but it's not one of the twists, so. You're right. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, I used the. So I guess it's a play on the red, white, and blue that they had, mm -hmm. which was super popular during the summer. Yeah. All my neighbors drink it. I'm just not a fan of the level one two ounce bottle. Should be twelve. Come on, it's point eight ounces. You're ripping me off. Right. Like it makes sense if it's like Guinness or you know something else that's like Euro, and it's like okay, that's an even number. Oh, okay, that's what we're doing. It's an even number of milliliters, but. That's what I was trying to figure out. Is eleven or is nineteen point two like stovepipe cans that are like everywhere now? Is that like why is that a measurement? Uh, it has something to do with uh, is, like, is the it, can size. Like certain companies can't make twenty four ounce cans because it's something to do with Anheuser Busch. There's they a, like own the trademark to twenty. Miller does maybe because Anheuser Busch does twenty five ounce right. cans, and there's a reason for it. I, somebody in the comments will let us know. I know there's a yeah. reason for it, but I, I didn't know if it was because it was like a metric thing. Maybe, but There's a like lot of those metric. craft breweries are only yeah. available in the United That's States. That's true, yeah. So. Uh, I don't know what flavor this is. It just says Holiday Punch. It has cherries and cranberries on the box. Though. Yeah. It smells like Hall's cough drops. It smells like Jello, bro. What are you talking about? It smells like artificial cherry. That's that's all. That's all. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much. It's pretty much it. It's got a little of that. Uh, I can see where you're coming from the cough drops, but it reminds me of Jello or mm -hmm. like uh, not quite Luden's. Luden's are delicious. It yeah. doesn't quite smell like a Luden, but carbonations. It's kind of like brown when you hold it up to the light, almost. Yeah. I mean, it kind of looks like cranberry juice, honestly. It's a lot less carbonated. Than uh, it was. I paid seven ninety nine for a six pack. So how thick do you think this is going to be? It's probably it's super price. sugary. Yeah. Yeah. We'll find out. Let's do it. Okay, I like the like Does sour bite. Does it taste like Christmas tree? A little bit? What is that? See, I, I smelled something that like, remember, I mean, like a mint? Like, I think that's why I was thinking of like cough drop or like... It does eucalyptus. have some sort of eucalyptus -y. Yeah. It's maybe juniper. It may be juniper. Oh, wait. Is, is that a mint leaf? Oh, no. That's rosemary. Is that what that? I think that's a rosemary spray. No, I think that's that's Isn't part it? of the that's part of the the cranberry. Oh, okay, maybe not then. But it's some yeah, it's some type of herb. It tastes like a Christmas tree, bro. Cranberry. It's not as sweet as I was expecting it to be either. Mm -mm. Cranberry cherry. Not feels not as thick either. And Christmas tree. It's like I took cranberry and cherry juice and then mixed it with a Christmas tree. Yeah, one. like you just. I I don't hate it though. It has a little bit of a like cough medicine ness. It does remind it. me, yeah, a little bit of cough medicine. -y. So we'll take some Sprite and put it in here, bro. Make yourself smear off lean. I don't know, man. That's weird. I don't know how I feel about it. It's like it keeps your mouth is very refreshed. It's not syrupy, which I was afraid was gonna happen. It's very, uh, it's very bright. Surprisingly, it's, yeah, it's so perplexing. It is. I'm, I'm glad I got it, but like, what is? What are these flavors? Yeah, I don't know how much more of this I can drink. I mean, it tastes like it would be an easy funnel. It would be a weird funnel. But it would go down pretty easy. Yeah, I feel like it would be good with like a holiday dinner, though. Maybe? Yeah, like just think. Some like mashed potatoes and gravy. Some turkey. And brine your turkey in it? Maybe. We can try. It's like rum ham. You do, you do Dr. Pepper, right? People brine turkeys and Dr. Pepper. Or you put like a whole PBR in its butt or whatever. Mm -hmm. whatever You'd have to be. put, you have to get like a 25 ouncer for yeah. beer. Oh yeah, that's for chicken, isn't it? Beer yeah. can chicken. Yeah. <laughs> you look at a Foster's and just <laughs> like throw it in there. Uh, it's not terrible. Uh, I just don't know what is going on, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this flavor. It's very, uh, it's almost like, 
mint or eucalyptus or evergreen or so something in there that's know. like makes it uh is there any more description on the box anywhere menthol oh wait oh no it just says natural flavors okay it doesn't say what the flavors are it doesn't say anything on the something box. no it just says holiday punch plainfield illinois uh i guess i'll give it like a like a six just for like weird factor and the price isn't bad and I feel like it goes with the theme of the holidays. Like, it's weird. Like, I don't know what the weird, like, this is like if you took a red buck and then also mixed it with a menthol. That's what this is. I know how much you love your red bucks. No, I, I don't think I've ever had a red buck. Um, I know there's that one old dude when you worked at the gas station that would buy them all the time. Uh, what's his name that used to work with us, smoked them all the time? Uh, he was on the show once or twice. Wow, that narrows it down. Yeah, it does narrow it down to like eight people. <laughs> right, like literally, like I was. I don't remember what we. I don't remember what like, we called him when he was on the show, so I, I can't remember. You're talking about. He went by his last name. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, Indy. Mm -mm. Not Indy. What was it? Indy? It was Indy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what happened to him? He had too many red bucks. <laughs> God. <laughs> And now he talks like this. Um, I'm going to give this a six. Uh, I'm taking a half point off for um, the ripoff box. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's unique. It's different. Uh, I think you'd probably be okay if you brought it to a Christmas party. Um, it might be better over ice or something like that. Maybe, yeah. But or like, I was thinking, like, it would cut down the ABV so much, but, like, even putting, like, a little bit of, like, Sprite or soda water or something in it. Yeah, they did a good job of making it not syrupy though. Yeah, which was. I will. I will give a props for that because a lot of the Smirnoff ice and stuff are like straight syrup. Yeah, it's it's pretty well balanced. It does have a little bit of a tartness to it, but it has that weird mentholy or evergreeny whatever that is. Yeah, in there, and it's it's a little bit off putting. It, it can be good if you're into that kind of thing, but it just it's weird. I good. think I think I know what it is too. Is I think the okay. like tart. Yeah. I was going to say the tartness from the uh, cranberries, I think, is what saves it from being overly sweet. Yeah, that's nice. The cherries are tart, too, though. Yeah, that's it's true. not Like actual cherry. cherries. Yeah. It's not black cherries, it's just regular cherry, which I'm not a huge fan of the black cherry flavor when they say it's black cherry. No, not if it's flavor, but I prefer, like, actual black cherries. Right. The best. Yeah. Shoot the seeds at people and stuff. But. Next question is, would you recommend them? Honestly... Yeah, I'd recommend it for like a holiday party. That's pretty much it. Or like if you really like cherry and cranberry. I mean, I I really like cherry. Um, so like that's why I prefer it. But I know a lot of people are weird about artificial cherry. I would say it's one and done. I would say get a. I don't six know if I would drink a whole six, but I would share it with. with get a six if you're right. going to Christmas. Give grandma one. You know, she can take her teeth out and enjoy it. Hold on. <laughs> Crazy. It's been a while. <laughs> For grandma, or are you? <laughs> Who knows? Could, could be for you. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but uh... <laughs> all right. Or like Carmex. That's what it reminds me yeah. of. Yeah. Yeah. Cherry, like if you had the flavor cherry Carmex, it reminds me a little bit of cherry Carmex. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, well, that's been our episode. If you'd like to see anything else on the channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. I'm Special K. And I'm Domingo. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.